Sea snakes are real, air-breathing snakes with body scales and forked tongue, so well adapted to an aquatic life. Many are highly venomous, the venom of some more potent than a cobra, and yet they are the least known of all reptiles. Here in the crystal clear waters of the Coral Sea, we meet and study at close quarters the sea snakes of Marion Reef. On board Freedom 2, undersea filmmaker Ben Crop leads this expedition. Dr. Glenn Burns obtained his doctorate on his study of sea snakes. Ben drops in on the wreck of the Yongala, a known sea snake habitat. Here it comes. Lots and lots of fish. Wow, look at those fish on the surface there too. Ah, right above it. Okay, marker boy. Lynn Roberts and Sharon Harris are diving crew members along with Ben's son, Dean. The Yongala sank in a cyclone in 1911 with the loss of 137 lives. Her rusting tomb is now festooned with colourful soft corals and swarms of fish. One species of sea snakes is prevalent, Apisaurus laevis, the olive sea snake. It's large, venomous and thankfully docile unless provoked. We spent many, many hours down on the Yongala. Such a magnificent wreck, absolutely festooned with soft corals, swarming with fish. And in all those hours down there, I happened to run across something special. And this was a hawksbill turtle eating some of the soft coral. Its head was actually stuck right in the, amongst all the soft corals, and I had quite a difficulty getting the camera around to see what it was actually eating. Well, eventually, I got in and saw that it was eating a spongy type of soft coral which was attached to the wreck. 